In today's video, we're opening an entire case of the brand new, much debated, Maze of Millennia. What's up guys, we are back with another new Maze of Millennia opening. I'm pretty excited about this. I went ahead, got all the packs out for you guys, just so you know, my editor doesn't have to watch me open packs for like, or open boxes for like three minutes, so you're welcome editor. But we're opening an entire case today, which by the way, was provided by Frontline Games. This is their case, not my case, I'm just opening it for them. But because this, it's been so hard for me to get this set, thanks to the weather, the holidays, it was really, really nice of them to allow, oh, I'm not doing pack trick today, we got 288 packs to open, but they allowed me to open this case up for them, which is going to provide you guys with a full case of content. So go ahead and thank Frontline Games in the comments. Shout out to them for being awesome and my local store. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, check out Sassy Auto's link down below. Use my code for 5% off to order any Maze of Millennia boxes or cases that you want. You'll get a discount and it also supports me through an affiliate. So I appreciate you guys doing that. Go check it out in the comments if you want to grab some boxes. So that is pretty cool. I'm also really excited to actually see some ratios for this because we opened a couple boxes yesterday go check that out if you didn't see that we opened uh two different boxes that had four ultras each so it looks like they may have heard our feedback about these collector rare sets and added another ultra per box or at least pullable ultra so instead of getting three per box and that being it you get four and you can even get a collector rare there's a chance of the qcr so the ratios feel a lot better and then with thing, or at least the bonfire not being short printed, they probably were short printed the thrust. Hopefully we'll find out a little bit more about that today. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to pull some of those cards. The thrust, on the other hand, looks pretty tough, but I am excited. So there is a giveaway for this video, which I, I went right into it. I didn't even mention it. We will be giving away a booster box of Maze of Millennia. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what's your favorite card from this new set. And do you like the set overall or you think it's, you know, too expensive? Some of the good cards are too expensive. Yeah, yeah, all the stuff that people don't like about this set. Hey guys, if you haven't heard, Whatnot is an awesome auction platform that I have previously streamed on many times. We even did the opening of the original LOB first edition all the way to Ancient Sanctuary first edition in the past. And I'm going to be doing streams there again very soon. I will be live on Whatnot this afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Time, opening the brand new set Maze of Millennia. Viewers will have the opportunity to not only purchase some of the new set, but potentially win some free boxes as well. This set contains awesome cards like the alternate art, QCR Junk Warrior, multiple Flame Swordsman in Collector Rare, a triple tactics thrust reprint and finally Yu-Gi-Oh's most topical card at the moment the ultra rare bonfire click the link in the description and get $15 credit on your first purchase on whatnot and even if you aren't planning on purchasing anything outside your 15 free credit make sure to come by and enjoy the awesome opening and the giveaways you can find my stream by going on whatnot searching ruxin 34 then going to the shows tab and bookmarking my stream also I might post other openings early so make sure you're checking my profile and bookmarking any new shows because they're going to be added periodically. Shout out to Whatnot for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you guys this afternoon at 3 p.m. Central. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we will be doing a Whatnot stream selling some of this set and many other things because we're not, you know, when I do Whatnot, we usually don't just do one thing. We have some other options available. Might have some older packs. We might, I Evolution, there's an ultra rare. Our first non-guaranteed foil, so we'll take that. So today is Friday when you're seeing this, I think. I'm like, my schedule is way off thanks to the snow, holiday, different streams we got to do. I think the whatnot stream, but you, whenever you see the ad in this video, it'll tell you when it's going to be supposed to be today on Friday at 3 p.m. That's the goal. The problem is I'm recording this Thursday, the day before Friday. You know, that's how that's how days work. And at this current moment, I am supposed to be getting more of this set because this is not mine. This is obviously front lines. I don't have any of it myself. No, I don't have any boxes for Ruxin. No Ruxin boxes. I'm waiting on them in the mail, getting overnighted. The problem with getting stuff overnighted is, first of all, has to actually be overnighted and get there the next day. Doesn't always happen. Secondly, you don't know when you're actually gonna get it. It might be 10 a.m., it might be 7 p.m. There's a big difference there. There's the, ooh, the raging, or the fighting flame swordsman. That is a really cool ultra, I like that. Second ultra of the video, and then Gazelle. So I am just sitting here, you know, the day before, hoping that stuff will arrive by, you know, before three o'clock so we can actually do the planned stream. If it doesn't arrive at three, we're kind of just up a creek. We don't really have another option. So if that happens, I may push the stream back at night. The problem is I have something I have to go to Friday night, so I can't just do it at Friday night because that would make sense. But I have something that I, 
I've committed to months ago that I have to go to. So I can't not, you know, not go to that. So that makes it a little difficult. So if that happens and it doesn't arrive, we're going to do it Saturday. So just an ancient chant. I forgot that was in here. That's a good reprint. Rage of Raw is officially everything's been reprinted. It's now completely worthless, except the, I guess the Ghost Shore Wing Dragon of Raw. That's how it works with reprints. But just keep that in mind. It's a little fluid on the time. So the time as of right now, you can always check on the whatnot stream. I will change it there. So if you go to whatnot, you go to my shows, it'll tell you what time it is currently. So that means there's been no changes. So stick to that time until I maybe have to change it again. I'll try to post it on social media, YouTube community tab, etc. If I change it, hopefully I don't have to, but there's a good chance I do just because there's so much uncertainty because we're getting more weather today, which means maybe delays in shipment, which I am really hoping doesn't happen, but I wouldn't be shocked at all. It just feels like it's going to happen based on how this week has gone. Drastic draw, another ultra. So yeah, all that just to say, I, I have no idea. I hope that streams today. It's sh like maybe you're seeing this when it comes out and it's just in a couple hours and hopefully that that is true and it stays the same. But there's no way for me to be 100 percent sure because I can't control the weather. I can't control the shipping. I can't control any of that stuff. And I have not been able to get any of the set as of right now. So we're just waiting. There will be a whatnot stream at some point today or tomorrow, hoping that you guys will be there either way, no matter when it is. We will also probably, I think we're going to be doing a separate stream where we do whatnot, and then later we do, if, if it works out. If today we do a whatnot stream, then tomorrow, Saturday, we should be doing a big opening, searching for some cards, which I haven't actually decided. There's Photon Delta Wing. Which one we should search for? Because like, I think the Junk, we're going to actually find out today because the Junk Warrior alternate art, I think is going to be one per case. That's just a guess though. So if we pull it in today's video, then it won't prove it's one per case, but it will at least be like, okay, it's probably one per case because we opened one case and got it if it is then that's not really a great search because it's a little bit too easy you know i have illusion because we just open one case and we get it so i don't know if that'll be the one we go for if we maybe go for a flame swordsman cr maybe the bonfire cr just because of you know we there's an actual bonfire cr it's been a big talking point it'll probably be bonfire that we go for also i want to point out bonfire is already down to 89 dollars in pre-order because it hasn't even released yet it, today the time you're watching this it has but yesterday when i'm recording this it's 89 dollars, so it's already down so it, like like all that freaking out was for nothing. Like people were freaking out like crazy. And it turns out all we had to do was just calm down and not spend $130 on it. And now that we kind of know the ratios, it's like, well, I'm just going to open a box. I'm going to probably pull one, uh, you know, one out of every three or four boxes, you're going to get one. And then I've heard of people getting multiple in a box because there have been some weird like double pulls of the same ultras and stuff like that, that I've seen. Like we opened two boxes and got like three of the same ultras. It was very weird. So I think that there's a good chance that that's going to happen. So I would recommend just waiting out the bond. Oh, our first collector rare. Speaking of waiting out, we have a collector rare photon delta wing. I don't think this is exactly one that we're looking for in terms of collector rares, Photon Delta Wing, but that's, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is Frontline's case, but I still want Frontline to pull some good stuff. I don't want them to end up with just, you know, a bunch of nothing. So it looks like I'm doing the outside. So like when you look at TCG player, you can look at the outside listing where it kind of tells you an average, which is usually pretty inaccurate. And then you click in and see what the actual lowest listing is. That's when you really get the price. But I'm just looking at the outside right now. And right now it says the best card is Bonfire CR. Shocking. Then uh, it is the transaction rollback CR, which is only a little bit more than the regular transaction rollback because the regular transaction action rollback says it is oh never mind transit it's down to 40 okay that makes sense so the cr is 132 so that that checks out and then after that we got bonfire as an ultra which is definitely not going to hold up uh, with the current ratios then there's a box itself so there are three cards that are worth more than a box which is interesting we have a drastic draw ultra rare then there are a couple that are pretty close like the number one infection buzz king is actually the cr is actually almost 70 bucks which is interesting $75 maze box though is pretty high for like a collector rare set. That's actually, you know, I, I always like to say it's good for the good for the, the local source that it's holding up for them. They're actually able to make money on this set. So that's great. That is what we want. We don't want, you know, crazy box prices, but we do want them to not be losing their money when they do actually buy the stuff, which is great. So good to see that it's at like a reasonable price. It's not like $90, but it's also not like $50, which is when they're Sets are really falling apart. We have Earthbound Servant, the Cabrera Stone. Okay, let's keep going. No bonfires yet, no thrust, which I hear are the, the tough ones to actually get. We have a Salamandra, the flaming, flying flame dragon, the flaming fly dragon. <laughs> it's not a fly, it's not a fly. Okay, we have the Earthbound Prisoner. We have Salamandra yet again, back to back. Burfamut, Burfamut, you shall 
Yugi commands you to defeat Kaiba. Remember when we did uh, Kaiba versus Yugi? I, we had that short the other day and it reminded me. I was like, that was pretty funny, actually. That was that was an enjoyable time. It was just like pretending to be anime characters, <laughs> which is always fun. We have the uh, Supreme King. Something about these rares are really hard to see. The Super C, you can see really well. Armored XCs and then the Milo Seek. Okay, next pack, Maze of Millennia. You have been not great so far. Let's see if we can turn around. We have the Kaido Terra. Kaido Terra. Kaido Terra. Gotta be Kaido Terra, right? Kaido Terra. That's what I'm gonna say. Doppa Warrior. We have Ahsoka Pillar. We got a little Star Wars action. Alter Guys Meliseek. We need I did mix up all these, by the way, so they're gonna be pretty random. I mixed them up more than I normally do. I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's just mix up some of these packs, see what we can get. Hopefully you guys enjoy the long case opening. I know you guys usually seem to say you like it. It's more of a more of a chatting video. I know some people don't like when I talk too much. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I get a little carried away. By the way, I'm looking over here. I need a haircut. This hair is getting crazy right now. But it's been so snowy. There hasn't been a real opportunity to go. I've been snowed in like half the week, and it's been pretty rough. So now I'm just super hairy. Not great. We have the alert and Magic Spectre Toad Ogama. We have a little Flame Swords Dance. Arcane of Force 15, The Fiend. I feel like we have not pulled an Ultra in a while, which would be nice to see like if we're getting four card ratios or not. Gazelle, or four Ultra ratios. Probably should have kept him in order just for that reason, but oh well. We have Flame Swords Realm. Magic Specter Crow, Yada. Yada Garasu Retrain. Pretty crazy. We have the Altergeist. We have the Earthbound Servant. We are on a cold streak right now, which means hopefully at some point we're going to start pulling Ultras like crazy. Just like left and right, there's an Ultra Rare. We have a Contain! Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. All right. Maybe we need to summon the uh, the Paradox Brothers because, you know, it's another maze set. We had Maze of Memories, which is so confusing. We have another maze set like a year later. Maze of Memories, Maze of Millennia. I'm totally surprised I haven't said Maze of Memories yet. I almost put Maze of Memories in the title <laughs> when I was making the video yesterday. I was like, Maze of Memory. I was like, wait, that's not right. It is Maze of Millennia. It's a different set. And it's not Maze as the short. It's M-I-Z-I -I or whatever. Mizzy or whatever. I don't remember what it is. Phoenix Gear, Gear Blade. But we need to summon the Paradox Brothers. But there's no Gate Guardian. Brother. Where is a oh transaction rollback? The Paradox Bros, one of the best cards in the set. The transaction rollback, ultra rare. All right, I might need to uh, work on my Paradox Bros voice, but all right, Paradox Bros, that worked pretty good. I I started my terrible imitation of them and then immediately pulled one or like a good card. So that is our first good card of the opening. We had a collector rare, but not exactly a big one. So that's pretty nice. Magic Specter Raccoon, Raccoon. Let's keep going for the maze of millennia. Can we pull something big? Rescue Ace Hydrant is not big. It was Rescue Ace for pretty good for a while though. Uh, apparently because they got hit on the ban list. I remember that because I'm a ban list expert. We have Turbulence. First set of 2024. Pretty excited to have a new set. Ancient Chant yet again. Another one of those. We're chanting for the wing, the wing dragon of Ra. Merrick Ishtar. All right, Merrick. Let's pull something good. It's such a violent voice. It like hurts my throat and it's also needs some work. I must pull the winged dragon of Ra. Yugi, I will murder Joey. <laughs> Joey will pass out when he's going to beat me. But I beat him up so bad he passed out. Merrick Ishtar. <laughs> what else does Merrick do? He has the winged dragon of Ra. He nearly kills Joey. Who does he who does he battle at the end of he beats Joey? Then does he battle Yugi, I guess? It has to be Yugi. Is it Yugi? Does he, does he ever battle Kaiba? Obelisk versus Raw? I feel like he does. Is that before or after Joe? I gotta rewatch. I gotta rewatch Yu-Gi-Oh! I really do, guys. I gotta refresh. And then I really need to watch the ones after that, just because like I need to know. Like I should know the lore for all these anime things because sometimes I say stuff wrong, people get really angry. I'm like, all right, I'm sorry. I haven't seen it, okay? Which I need to, but it's it's just some of them just are not great. You know what I mean? I've heard though, was it Arc V? I think it was Arc V that Chaotic Meatball was telling me was actually pretty good because Zexel I've heard is shaky. Zexel I've heard is pretty shaky. Uh, so that's why I kind of stopped at 5Ds. I never even finished 5Ds though, so I really need to watch that at some point. So Zexel I've heard is shaky. Then it's Arc V, right? And then Vrains. Vrains has an awesome intro, though. I say this every time. The song is so good. That is really good. It's really good. So it makes me want to watch the show. I don't know if the show is actually good, though. 
Ahsoka pillar. But I, I need to refresh on the on the dual monsters. I gotta get back to it because that's my roots, all right? And it's been a little bit too long where I don't know any of the anime anymore. We have, oh, an ultra, not ultra, collector rare, Earthbound Servant Geo Grasha. Earthbound Servant, okay, I will say, I don't, this is probably not a great card, but this is a really cool looking card. One Earthbound Fusion Monster and one Earthbound Synchro Monster. What, interesting, okay. Gonna have two different types of extra deck, well, yeah, fusion is actually, I was thinking of ritual because one time I referred to that as an extra deck. People were like, are you kidding me? That's a cool artwork. I'll say that. That's a cool looking card. Well, it is probably not a great card. It looks great. Okay, two collector rares so far. No junk warrior, which I'm hoping is in here, which we might have to be. You say Fudo. Okay, there's a number one. That's a good ultra rare to summon that one. How does you say talk again? He just talks like Tristan. I don't know if I can do that voice. Even like even close like these other ones have been bad but they're at least you know you know who i'm being i'm trying to think of a or not a, let, let's think of you say stardust dragon i guess he uses but i can't even like junk warrior i guess is a big one he's like let me think about this junk warrior no that's just that's just my voice it, it's pretty because he's usually yelling when he's when he's summoning a monster what is it it's a little bit deeper than me junk Junk warrior. No, I I, I want to get loud and then I just end up being la uh, like higher. I got I got to figure that one out. That one I, I don't have a good Tristan voice. I have the original Tristan when you you know the first twelve episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, you guys, check out my survival guide. That got, that was the original voice. I got that one. That's an easy one. But the when it replaces it with is a little bit harder. A little bit harder to do. So if it, it was, imagine they kept the same voice and like stood as dragon. <laughs> Stardust Dragon, attack! <laughs> Jack Atlas, give me my Stardust back! That would have been, that would have been pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. They should have kept the original. No, Greg Abbey is really good. Greg, Ab Greg Abbey is one of the best. I mean, one of my favorite. I won't say one of the best because I don't want to, you know, disparage any of the voice actors. I really like most of them. Really all of them. I can't even think of anybody I don't like. But uh, Greg Abbey's really good. He's really good as Tristan, both Tristan and uh, Yusei. Unfortunately, I can't sell him, at least not right now. I got to do a little, little work behind the scenes on that one. But I will say, if they kept the original Tristan voice, it would have been a lot funnier. Maybe not as good, but a lot funnier. Hey, you guys, let's open a little maze of millennia. All right, drastic draw. I've got like four of those. I keep pulling drastic draw. I pulled two of those yesterday. Maze of millennia is one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh sets. Maybe we could pull that bonfire card. Maybe we can, Tristan. Maybe we can. Let, let's see if we can do that. All right, Tristan. Let's see. Can you give us a, a little luck? All right. Okay. Tristan is bringing us the luck on this next pack. All right, guys. We're going to open a pack of Maze of Millennia. I think there's going to be a great card inside. Let's see. I'm Tristan. I'm going to do a pack trick. Two from the back, guys. We have Salamandra Fusion. Earthbound Release. Combat Wheel. Alter Geist. Primbinashi. And an Ahsoka Pillar, a little Star Wars. We're in the wrong universe right now. Back to no more Tristan. Sorry, Tristan. You're, you're done, buddy. You're done. You had a good run, uh, 13 episodes in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, and then they booted you for Greg. Greg took over. He said, all right, I'm done with you, Tristan. I, I'm gonna, I got you covered. I wonder, if I wonder why they did that, like change voice actors so early, like in the middle of the very first arc. Uh, I don't know. That'd be interesting to find out. I wonder if there's any info about that out there. Fighting Flame Sword is a really cool spell card because it has literally the entire Flame Swordsman on it, which is usually like spell cards don't do as well because of, you know, they're, they're not monsters on them a lot of time, but that one is a full Flame Swordsman. So that might be a decent one. We have a Salamandra, the Flying Flame Dragon. Salamandra, Joey Wheeler. I'm just in a mood to like talk like Yu-Gi-Oh characters today. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's kind of fun, actually. I'm just keeping myself entertained because we do have an hour of opening here. We've not pulled a bonfire yet, so so much for no short prints. Uh, hopefully, I... Okay, I say that. Don't take that seriously because people will take that seriously and be like, Rux, it said there's no short... It said there were short prints or no short prints sarcastically. Keep in mind, small ratios everywhere. No matter where you are, it's a small ratio, unless they open like 50 cases. That's like a real ratio. Doing like one case, you know, half a case is what we've really opened so far. Oh, yes. Speaking of epic cards, collector rare, transaction rollback. 
Okay, so we've got one regular transaction rollback and one collector rare transaction rollback for Frontline. I always pull them the best card. We pulled Mirror Jade in one time. I think we pulled them, yeah, we pulled them an Ash QCR. I mean, we've done really well for them. Now we just need to pull a Bonfire CR. Okay, but yeah, remember that this is a small ratio. Anything you see here is, take it with a grain of, grain of salt. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean, there's a, another Delta Wing, that that's how every box or every case is gonna be because there is some, you know, possible clumping or variants or sometimes they make an error you know they don't put the right amount of cards in there that's happened before remember when we opened that no collector rare two cases of now i can't remember what's the set called what it was an early cr set pretty early ancient chant we have so many of those the one with the brave engine in it oh no i'm getting old i can't remember anything anymore it's two years ago i think it was early 2021 it was the set that I'm forgetting, what is the name of it? It had other good archetypes as well. Wow, now I can't remember, but we opened two cases of it. Didn't get a single collector error, it's pretty rough. Remind me in the comments, I'm forgetting, what was that set called? I feel like it started with an A, it wasn't ancient, it was, uh, I've lost it. I can't remember it. I, I've been too many anime characters that and I've, I've disassociated with Ruxin. I don't remember anything about Ruxin. I only remember about Tristan. <laughs> Okay, we have... Oh, there we go. Speaking of short prints, potentially. Triple Tactics Thrust. To check out that centering. Not great. A little bit pushed down. Doesn't really matter because you're going to be playing this card anyway. Not grading it. But I'm just going to throw this out here. A little spiel I've mentioned many, many times. Told many, many people. Do not grade playable cards. Just don't do it. Don't do it. They're playable. That's the reason they're expensive. Not because people are going to want to buy them in a slap. Because then they can't play them anymore. It's like, it's not the same. But it's also like you took a playable card and you ripped it in half. Because you can't play it anymore. Why would that, you know. It's not the exact same because obviously it's in a slab. It's protected. It's not ripped in half. But it's in effect the same thing for the player. The only thing is they're able to put it back together, aka crack it out of the slab. Which means they're not going to pay extra for a slab because they're just going to crack it. So it doesn't make sense. They'll just buy the raw one. So yeah, like just don't grade a playable card. If it doesn't have collectability to it, there's a like collectability and playability way different. Like... Maybe something has been so playable in the past that it is now collectible, such as Dark Arm Dragon, etc. Uh, but that's only part of it. The Dark Arm Dragon is also a rare secret out of a really rare set. It's also a dragon, which is really cool and collectible. So there's a lot of things to go into that. It's not just like, oh, I played this spell card a lot. Now it's going to be really expensive in the future. It's like, probably not. Keep that in mind. There are a lot of factors when it comes to what you should, should and shouldn't grade. And if it's only playable, purely playable, you should never grade it. I'm just going to throw it out there. Never grade it, especially, especially if it's not like a starlight rare. If it's just like an ultra or a secret, don't grade it. Don't do it. Just don't do it to yourself. Save the time, save the money. Just just sell the thing raw if you're planning on selling it anyway. Or just play it, whatever you want to do with it. You know, don't grade it. Do not grade it. That's my spiel because every time I get that question so much. Should I grade this card? It's like, should I grade this bonfire ultra rare? It's like, no. Do not do that. Do not grade that Bonfire Ultra Rare. You're going to lose a ton of money because by the time it gets back from grading, who knows? They might have reprinted it or it might, you know, it's it's flooded the market by then. There's there's 20 bucks now, you know, it's $15 and you you had it at 90 and you graded it for another like whatever. If you did bulk, it's like 15. If you did regular, it's 50 or whatever. So you're uh, you're in the majorly in the red. So don't do that. All right, enough of that. Just got to mention that for the people that uh, will ask me in the future if I do not say it. So now you know, you don't have to ask me anymore. We have the Earthbound Fusion. And that's, uh, look, I just said it, the 25 minute mark, nobody heard it. That's the problem. You guys who have heard it at the 25 minute mark, you already know. You've heard me say it every time because you actually watch the, the full videos and stuff like that. So uh, I, that was probably too late to, to go in, in on that. We have number one. But at least I mentioned it so I can be like, oh, I already said it. But then, you know, they didn't they didn't hear it. But that's OK. Ka Cap Terra. Kaido Terra. Kaido Terra, not Cap Terra. There's no the P is, is silent because it's Terra, I think. Right. Magic Spectre Raccoon. That's OK. But uh, 27 minute mark. I don't know how much is going to be edited into this, how much later or earlier will actually be. But we are pretty far in. This is usually past the time where people are watching. So this is where us real fans are here. OK. And since you real fans are here, we got to think of a secret code because that's what we like to do on these case openings. So you can prove that you are a real fan because once you hear this and you comment in the comments, it is solidified. You are a true fan. You're dedicated to the opening, to the video. And our new code this time is going to be, let's think about what we've what we said here today. It's going to be Tristan's Maze of Confusion. That's what it is. Tristan's Maze of Confusion. Put that, that phrase in the comments. 
If you do that, it's like a secret code. Everyone who sees it knows you're a true fan, including me. I have illusion. Speaking of true fans, we have not pulled a single bonfire, which I heard they were not going to be shorted, but we could be wrong or we could have as i said there could be some variants but make sure you put tristan's maze of confusion in the comments guys and don't say why keep it a secret keep it mysterious you guys are usually pretty good about that on the previous case openings and since we're this late it's time to plug poker rucks <laughs> to all you guys who have already heard this but speaking of there's something new about poker rucks i made an instagram and a tiktok for poker rucks so if you want to go follow those i put a thing in the community tab we posted a few days ago with the links to that and you can find pokerux's instagram account which is almost at 100 followers pretty exciting then a tiktok account which is almost at 10 followers so you can be the top 10 ever fighting flame sword that's very cool go follow those it'll help out that uh second channel pokerux i've been working on the next video for a while and it is coming together really nicely i think it's going to be a pretty sweet one it's a follow-up to our radical red video which has over 100,000 views, which is ridiculous. I never thought that would have happened on the second channel. Like, we don't we don't get 100,000 views on this channel, so that's why that was insane. It's pretty rare that we do that. So when that happened, I was like, this is awesome. And Pokerux is up to 5,500 plus followers. We're making our way to 10K. I'm giving away a Switch, by the way, when we hit 10K. So if you want to support and maybe win a Switch, then if you would subscribe, it'd be great. We have Fighting Flame Swordsman again. Or sword, not swords, men. There's no, there's no men, just sword. So I'm pretty excited about Poker Rocks for this year. I think it is going to do uh, pretty well if I keep actually posting content. Problem is, it's really hard to get content on that channel because it takes hours and hours. Like this current run that we're doing has, pro we've probably spent, I would guess, about 35 hours live uh, recording it. And we're not done yet. Plus all the scripting I do on the outside of the 35 hours, plus my editor working on it. Like I don't do any of that. I review it and stuff and tell him some stuff he can do, but he does all that. So that's multiple hours of work on his end as well. So it's like, there's a lot of hours put into those videos and we post them like once every like two or three months because that's how long it takes to make them. And obviously I prioritize the Yu-Gi-Oh channel first because number one, it's it's our origins, it's our roots, it's my favorite thing. It's also what is paying the bills, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh channel, not the Pokemon channel. Uh, so that gets prioritized. And then, so Pokemon, another thrust that's nice double thrust the double thrust let's go back to what i was saying though this, so uh the pokemon kind of is like on the back burner if i have extra time on the week i can work on it etc we do prioritize doing those twitch streams trying to do at least three a week that's sometimes that doesn't happen when we have like whatnot or we have uh you know something going on that i have to cancel one or whatever but the goal is monday wednesday friday on those and also when we did the tcg player one thousand dollar stream like that took the place of a pokemon stream stuff like that flame sword we still don't have a bonfire what is going on right now this is a little scary i'm not gonna lie we want to pull some bonfires but yeah so it's really hard to get the content out that's the first time pulling the harmonic synchro fusion as well today we pulled a couple yesterday yeah so it's hard to get consistent content out over there that's why i post a lot of shorts yes finally Oh, thank goodness. We got one. The bonfire, the much debated, the much anticipated. Fiery, ultra rare card. Okay, I've been, I'm sleeving up a lot of these after the stream or after the video, not a stream, but after the video, but I'm gonna, that one's gonna get sleeved because it is a $90 card still right now. Okay, that's good. Okay, whew. wow. That was a little scary and we weren't gonna get one. But yeah, that, that's just a, an extra discussion. I have illusion we pulled like five times. If we pulled Bonfire that many times, we'd be real happy. Oh, baby, I think we got the card. I think we got the card. Okay, let's, let's recreate this just so we can. All right, we have seen a little glimmer on the side. A little glimmer on the side of this pack, which means there is a good chance. Uh, by good chance, I mean there's only one QCR, so... What QCR is it? Maze of Millennia. Let's show you the new release. Earthbound Immortal. Salamandra Fusion. We have Altergeist. Marionetter. We have Earthbound Lion Walker. Salamandra with Chain. Supreme Rage. And we have finally the new alternate art. Junk Warrior. Let's go. That is amazing. The quarter century secret rare. That is beautiful. Check that out. Wow. Junk Warrior. Woo! All right, so this case is really coming together. Bonfire 
and then the junk warrior. Okay, we've got a we still got a lot of packs left. We want to pull more bonfire for sure. Transaction rollback as well. We only have one of each of those in terms of the non-collector stuff. We do have one CR collector uh, transaction rollback as well. But this has been a very good opening now. It started off a little iffy, pulling a lot of weird ultras, but pulling that QCR, which I think is probably going to be one per case. Uh, we've pulled it in this case, so it's not necessarily. I mean, it could be one every 10 cases for all we know, because we only have one example. You know, we don't have 10 cases to open and find the ratio. We have one case. So if we just pull one, we really have no idea what the ratio is. We just know it's probably not less than one per case. That's the only thing we can really assume. That's the fun part about math. You know, fun is a, is relative, but it's like you, you get an idea of what's true, but you really need a large sample size to really be able to confirm it. And with ratios, you really need a large sample size, really large. You can't just open like five cases like I do and just know everything. You can gather a lot of info from that ancient chant. Whether it's actually accurate is another story. And that's the fun part about it. Okay, Doppel Warrior, we got Ultimate Flame Sword. Man, there's some cool Flame Swordsman cards in here. I hope people are excited. It feels like yesterday's video, I read a few of the comments on the top and a lot of people were pumped about the Flame Swordsman, which I was like, yes, people like the Flame Swordsman. Even though it's probably not a good archetype, they're excited about it. I love to see that the nostalgic archetypes are still doing well. Okay, Maze of Millennia. I believe in you. You will give us more bonfire. More fires will be bond. We have emergency. Earthbound prisoner. Still a lot of packs to be open. It's gonna be a long stream that, or long video. I keep saying it's a stream. It's not actually a stream. It's a long video, which feels like a stream. Once again, Frontline, shout out to you guys for allowing this to this content to be long today. Because otherwise, I mean, I would just be like, well, that's all you got, guys. <laughs> Maze of Millennia, one opening of two boxes. That's all you get. Earthbound, very cool. All right, Maze of Millennia. Let's see what we can do. Armored XCs, very nice. Can we pull the big cards? Combat wheel, super. Can we pull another number one infection, Buzz King? We are not pulling the big ones more than once, which is not great. Well, other than thrust, we actually have two thrust, which apparently was the short printed one. We have two of those. See, like that's why you just can't trust ratios halfway through. And even afterwards, it's like, well, you might just, something might just be different. But we've got two thrusts and we've got one of the others. And those were supposed to be regularly printed, you know, no short printing going on with those. So who knows? Who knows? We have the flame swordsman, the swordsman of flame. Yugi boy, will you give us a maze of Mirimili? Mirimili? Turn into an old man. Grandpa Yugi, drastic draw. We have so many of those. It's a drastic draw to draw that seven times. That's for sure. Give us something big. The stone sweeper at it again. Earthbound prisoner. He's sweeping them stones. We have armored XCs. Wow, this has been a lot of packs. The bonfire collector rare. Let's go. I always pull the best card for frontline games. I find a way somehow. I don't know how this happens. Okay, did they increase the... By the way, how many collector rares is that? Is that four? Or are they, is there more now? Bonfire CR. Woo! We originally thought this wasn't even in the set because it was one of the last ones pulled. It's in the set, guys. It's in the set. Bonfire collector rare. Wow, what an opening. All right, what a case. What a case. <laughs> that is uh, the number one CR, the number two CR. And then we have a bonfire, which is the number three card, ultra rare. Uh, there's also, what's the fourth card? Number one, Infection Buzz King. We don't have that. Number five card, we have Transaction Rollback. So we have four out of the top five cards. Wait, where's the Junk Warrior? I bet Junk Warrior's up there too. I bet they just haven't put a price on it yet. Wait, these are out of order because Transaction Rollback's 40. There's CRs or more. Wait, Earthbound Servant is 83. Wait, time out. The Geo Grashka Earthbound Servant they have at $83. Wait a second. According to this, that's actually the fourth most expensive card so we actually have and then thrust is 44 wow these some of these crs are cheap so actually number one infection buzz king is not the fourth most expensive it's the fifth most expensive but then the sixth is triple tactics thrust and the seventh is transaction rollback so we have six of the top seven cards in this case and that's assuming the alternate art junk warrior is actually uh more than like 40 bucks which i'd be shocked if it wasn't because one per case is i mean it's not crazy rare but it's also i mean it's something it's not nothing. It's still pretty hard to pull. It's like a ghost. So as long as it's it's somewhat playable, I guess. Junk Warrior, I mean, is, it, is it playable anymore? I don't know. It's a pretty old card, so I don't know. But wow, this has been a crazy good case. It started slow. 
Bonfire, if we get a few more Bonfire Ultra, we get a Bonfire Ultra or two, and then a uh, Transaction Rollback or two to add to this. This is basically the perfect case. I have already had the perfect case, which is pretty wild. Uh, other than getting, what's the one we're missing? The number one. If we'd gotten that as a collector rare instead of one of the other two we got that were not great, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Rescue Ace Turbulence, good stuff. Still a ton of packs left too, so it's not like we're done. It's not like we're done here. We have another transaction rollback, baby. Oh, just roll it on back. We got, unfortunately, we got to roll this, roll this case all the way back to Frontline Games because, yeah, otherwise, I mean, this would be an amazing case. I say otherwise, it's still an amazing case. I just, just not mine. But you know what? I like, I, I really like that. Since they're allowing me to open this up, I like that we get to return to them with like, hey, here's a lot of good pulls <laughs> just for you. So I, I helped them out a little bit, which is pretty cool. Wow, that is nutty, nutty good pulls. So here's what I'm hoping because this is supposedly these aren't short print ultras that we're trying to pull. We get one more transaction rollback, two more bonfire, and then we get three of each a play set, and then the two collector rares. That would be, and then the, of course the Junk Warrior and everything else, that would be the perfect case. There's a Synchro Fusion. That is not one we're necessarily looking for. That's one we pulled a couple times yesterday. We have an Earthbound Prison. Come on, Case, keep doing your thing. We got a Photon Delta Wing. Speaking of doing your thing, we keep pulling that card. So it feels like we are pulling some of the Ultras like a lot. And I don't know if that's because of short printing or if that's just like clumping or what, but like in theory if these were it's just clumping you could get a bonfire case with like seven of them like that would be awesome and that would be really the only way to top a case like this is like you just get like six or seven transaction rollback plus bonfire uh that would be really the only way you can top it which it seems like maybe that's possible we have the salamandra pretty much anything's possible when it comes to print runs you know you never know what has gone wrong, what has gone right in your case, if you get lucky and get an error opening or something like that. Come on, Flame Swordsman. No no Flame Swordsman CRs, which is a little sad, but maybe that means that's what we'll chase when we do the opening, since we've already gotten lucky and pulled the Bonfire CR uh, and the Junk Warrior. We've already, man, we are crushing this set. It's great. We have the Armored XCs. Let's keep it rolling. Maze of Millennia. Altergeist, Earthbound, Prison. Can we pull the epicness? We have Earthbound, Servant. Yeah, the Geo Grasha also being a good collector. I was not expecting. I guess it's just new Earthbound support. So it's like, okay, we got to get that, you know, play Earthbounds. I don't know who's playing Earthbounds though. Guess somebody is. Let me know in the comments if you're still watching and you're play planning on playing Earthbounds or if you're already playing Earthbounds. I feel like they're a little old if to be already playing them. Fighting Flame Swordsman, another Ultra. Getting down to the end of the opening. This is going to be quite a long opening. 45 minutes to 50 minutes, I would guess, after editing and everything. So shout out to my editor for getting this video out quickly. Harmatic Synchro Fusion. We're not getting any more bonfires, though. That's the only thing. The bonfires are not showing their faces. Show thy faces, bonfire. I don't know if we got more Ultras or not, but maybe we did. I'll have to check afterwards. So 12 you should get. If you get four per box, it's 48 ultras. And then collector rares, we've gotten four. So it seems like those are the same unless we pull another one. Which if we pull another one, I would expect there'd be two more, you know, because it'd be one every two boxes instead of three. Or maybe there's just like a random extra one inserted instead of the one in, or the one in three boxes. I don't know. Who knows? Maze, 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 maze. Give us another big card. Bonfire asking you shall receive. Oh, man. Might as well. We might as well get greedy. Ask for a third one, right? So we have two Bonfire Ultras, one CR. We got two Transaction Rollback Ultras, one CR. I am hoping that we can possibly, possibly pull a third of each, but we are getting down to the end, so it's looking not likely for that. If we even get one of the two and three, that would be really good. We have Arcane of Force 15. This has been quite the open. It's been very good. It's been very, very good. I just can't believe how good it is, especially with how it started. We didn't really pull anything good for a long time. It was like 20 minutes in. We finally pulled something good. Fighting Flame Swordsman, also another cool ultra. Yeah, it's good to see that one. Honestly, a little confused about what the Flame Swordsman was doing before, because now he's fighting. I guess before he was defending himself. Like, I guess that's still that's still fighting. Uh, not fighting? Was he like a pacifist? Because now it's fighting Flame Swordsman. I don't know what it was before. We have Salamandra. It's a great question. Who knows? Okay, Earthbound Servant. Satellite Synchron. 
Still, I mean, it feels like we're at the end. There's still a lot of packs left, so there's a lot of potential with these. Magic Specter Raccoon. Okay, Maze of Millennia. Here we go. Earthbound Prisoner. Very nice. Maze of Millennia. You've been good for us. You are good. Now be epic. Maze of Memories, it was not as good to us as this, I feel like. This has been a great start, because yesterday we did pretty well as well. We had some good pulls in yesterday's video. Not as good as today. I'd say today topped it. Okay, this is this is the part of the opening where my shoulder's starting to hurt. You know, it's been uh, it's a hard job I got here, guys. I've told you this many times. This is not an easy job. Pack opening? You guys think it's a cushy, cushy office job, you know? But really, it's not. It's difficult. It's hard. It's dangerous. And you can really hurt yourself, okay? Just trust me on that. Trust me. It's very dangerous. Opening Yu-Gi-Oh! packs, one of the more dangerous jobs out there. Like, I dare say, it could be one of the most dangerous. Could be, in theory, one of the most dangerous jobs. Maze of Millennia, can you please give us good cards? Give us more Ultras, more Collector Rares. Can you do it? Will you make it happen? Maybe we, maybe Tristan needs to come back and give us a little luck. Ultimate Flame Sword's been added again. He's not even an ultimate, though. If there was an ultimate rare that'd be just like the Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, which is the most confusing card ever, where you say the Ultimate Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. So you have to say Ultimate Rare, or it just gets confusing. Ultimate Rare, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. So that's why they needed one for the Flame Swordsman, just so it'd be confusing. Phoenix Gear Blade. All right, I converged the last few packs, which is like two boxes worth or something, which is not a few. Uh, but I've converged them just for ease of access for me. Opening the packs. We have Earthbound Prison, Chimera, and Gazelle. Chimera, the flying mythical beast. Uh, Yugi. Puts on Delta Wave. Your Chimera stands no chance against my blue eyes white dragon. All right, we have Magic Specter. That was not good. Uh, Yugi. Your Chimera has no chance against my blue eyes white dragon. Our Earthbound Servant, I don't know. I, that's too high, I think. Even though he does kind of have like a little bit of a higher voice. Number one infection, Buzz King. At it again. Kaiba, we will pull a third bonfire and a third transaction rollback. And there's nothing your blue eyes can do about it. Ha, Yugi, you'll never pull those cards. They're too powerful for you. Fighting Flames were, I thought I pulled it there for a second. I thought Kaiba was about to be wrong. That would have been nuts. That would have been crazy. If he was wrong at the last second, we have a Magic Specter Raccoon. Say it with me, the Magic Specter Raccoon. Say that when you pull it. That'll be fun. Let's see, Magic Specter Raccoon. The Kaido Terra. Maze of Millennia, not Maze of Memories. Different set, Ultimate Flame Swordsman. Wow, case openings. Gonna be doing more of this soon. I'm pooped. It's been a while since we've done this because we had Valiant Smashers, which we didn't do go too crazy on. Valiant Smashers was, uh, we were pretty, you know, I didn't love the set, so we didn't go too nuts on it. And we also pulled the Arch Lord Christia like twice in two or three cases or something. There's the Turbulence. Where are you? We have Bonfire, Transaction Rollback, and Thrust are all at the same ratio for us at the, mo at the current moment of opening. We have two of each, but Thrust, we don't have a Collector Rare, which I think that they're theorizing it has one. I don't think anyone's actually pulled one that I've seen. By the time you see this, I bet somebody's pulled the Thrust uh, Collector Rare, but there was only 13 listed for having Collector Rares, and then there's usually 15. There's two more being trend, uh, the Thrust, and then one other, what was the other card? I don't remember what it was. I think it was one of the Flame Swordsman cards. Okay, we're probably down to a booster box. We've opened about 11 boxes today out of the 12. Maze of, or Millennium Revelation. Not Maze of Revelation. I'm saying too many mazes. Salamandra. Where's the raccoon? You need to pull it. No Pecanio Moth in this one, unfortunately. We can't get excited about that. That would be pretty nice, though, if they had a Pecanio Moth retrain. Eventually, that's going to happen, right? We're going to get Pecanio Moth retrain. Oh, it's a chan. I thought maybe. Maybe just maybe. We were close. We did our best. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get there. Getting the third bonfire that I thought that was. A lot of spell cards in the ultra rare slot, though. There's the Fighting Flame Swordsman. There's the Ancient Chant. Triple Tactics Thrust. There's the, uh, uh, not no, Transaction Rollbacks is a trap. But then there's the uh, bonfire. So most of them are actually traps or spells, it feels like, or at least half. There's Then there's Flame Swordsman, other ra Then there's some, uh... Oh, there are other fusions? Those are, might all be supers, actually. There's an Ultra, uh, the Xyz Ultra. Yeah, there's an Xyz as well. Hmm. Not a lot of, like, regular old, uh, regular old Ultras. We have another transaction. Rollback, baby! That's a play set. Okay. 
You love to see that. Play set a transaction rollback. Okay, I, I said I'd be happy if we got one of the two. And I still am. I still am. But now we can get that bonfire. So we do officially have more transaction rollbacks than we do bonfire and thrust at the moment. Uh, that is ultras only though. There's the there's the regular regular effect monster. Nothing crazy there, but that is one of the ultras. The photon wing I don't think is necessarily one we're we're really excited about, but hey, it's something. Earthbound servant Geo Griffon. We have a uh, another ancient chant. How many of those are we gonna pull? I bet we have like eight of some of the ultras, and then we have like two of others. So. There seems to be a significant difference in my case, at least. But keep in mind, as I've said many times in this, uh, they are not going to represent this case is not going to represent every case necessarily. But it is just a little snapshot into what might happen. There's a hydrant. We're down to like maybe 10, a couple, a couple more than that packs left in the opening. We're still looking for one more bonfire, please make it happen. Make it happen, please. Cap Kaido Terra. All right. Maze of Millennia. We have flame swords and we have Ahsoka pillar and gazelle. All right, few more packs. Is there another ultra in here? We have three, six, nine, ten packs. Perfectly, we've opened 278 packs, 10 to go. Another one, let's go! The third bonfire, oh my goodness. Three bonfire, three transaction rollback, one CR of each. This has been a really, really awesome case this is going to be hard to top this is how you want your case if you want this set you want this to be just like this you get a play set of both the big cards you get a cr version of both so if you just want to play the low end you can just sell those if you want to play the high end you can sell one of your extra ultras there's also tons of copies of everything else you get the junk warrior qcr you get the fighting flame swordsman again very cool we definitely have at least three of those i mean we're getting everything you could want in here everything rescue ace hydrant pretty cool and there's four packs left. Is there? If there's anything else in here, we're happy. Anything, because wow, we are very happy already. Turbulence, we really don't need anything else. But, you know, I'll always love another Ultra. Wouldn't be bad. Oh, we got some. Oh, no way! Another one! No! Was that the last 10 packs at two bonfire? Let's go! All right, that's nice. Uh, guys, I don't think we needed to freak out about this card. It, they're not that hard to pull. <laughs> we just got we just got two in the last 10 packs. That is amazing. Okay, all right, bonfires, four of them in this case. Two packs left. I mean, dare I ask for transaction rollback number four? I mean, I don't even need to ask, but, but wow. Uh, it just keeps happening. Just keeps that last pack magic, Maze Millennia. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up. Also, Shout out to Frontline Games. Thank you guys for supporting the channel by allowing me to open this for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy your pulls. They're pretty good. Also, go check out Sassy Auto. Uh, use my link in the description. Use my code. I don't even remember what it is for this one, but it's in the description, 5% off. And it's also an affiliate link with my channel, so it supports me. So go check that out if you want any Maze of Millennia. It seems like you'll actually pull the good cards from what I can tell, which is pretty exciting. All right, last pack magic. I mean, there's no, I don't even need to, I don't need to expect anything. I mean, I, because I, it's been too good. If we get anything, then it'd be crazy. We have Chimera. It's been an amazing opening. Rescue. Earthbound Line Walker. We have, okay, this will reveal if we got something. Here we go. All right, the Kaido Terra. We pull this every time, so it makes sense. That was fun. That was amazing. Wow, what an opening. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dean, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.